go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live like golden. Yeah, we're golden. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here bringing another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane and we're up against a Yone. He took Flash and Barrier. This is a little weird taking the Barrier, usually they'll always go at night. Um, but maybe this guy was a little, I mean, I guess maybe he's just intimidated of the Fizz. And like Lee Sin potential, I'm not sure. Almost, I'd, I'd say 9 times out of 10 you'll see him take the uh, the Ignite. The only thing other than that, I'd say maybe a Teleport, but hardly ever will you see this. Barrier, very, very uh, weird summoner spell choice for the Yone. I haven't had a chance to go up against too many Yones yet, but we'll see how this goes. He's running the fleet footwork, so it is going to be a little bit difficult to make, like, actual damage stick onto him. But we'll see how it goes. Just going to be trying not to get hit by his Qs as much as possible. Pretty much just like Yasuo, in a sense that he's looking for those, uh, those Qs. Get hit him with a nice auto W there. Try to get out so we don't take too much minion ad, uh, damage as well. So every like third Q he has a knockup, but he dashes forward at the same time. So you'll see it right there. Ooh, we did not get that one. I was really hoping we get that one. Nice little auto Q by him. All right, looks like Lee Sin's doing a full clear, so we can't get too crazy on this guy. That's all good. We're just looking for the minions, anyways. We'll probably just let this guy push us in. There's really no reason not to. Cause we can make him overextended and potentially get a good gank from Lee Sin. Lee Sin's a pretty good uh, early game ganker, so. And this guy doesn't have Ignite, so I don't need to be too, too, like, scared of him early game. Because it's not like he's going to burst us down with Ignite or anything, right? But we'll see how Lee Sin handles it. We'll miss that one, but we should be able to get almost all these. Make sure we get the cannon. That's the most important one. Yeah, see, he's kind of extended here, the uh, Yone is. Hit him with my uh, slow here. Just ignite him right away. And just walk him down here. Nice. Well played by the Lee. Got his flash. I'm not, I don't know if the Yone barriered or not, but... Yeah, he just was super extended there. That's kind of what happens whenever you push someone in relentlessly like that early game. I, I really need this wave to crash, so I'm going to stay here for this wave. And it'll just be really good for, like, um, just a little bit of extra gold we'll get as well. Nice little double kill by the uh, Graves there. It's good for the enemy team. Oh, they actually get him, though. All right, let's head on out of here. We got a pretty good little um, amount of gold here to work with. Beating him in a little bit of CS. Um, let's go ahead and ping his flash. I really don't know if he buried. I think he may have, but I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and grab that. We'll grab an Amp Tome, and then we'll grab a piece of armor, too. That's going to help us out a lot against this guy. All right, so he's got his ward on the bottom side. Let's go ahead and ping that out to Lee Sin. So we should be in a pretty good state here. Got the, uh, the Dark Seal, which we can stack up as well. And then we got an Amp Tome, so we should have a decent amount of uh, damage. 41 AP, not too bad. And this wave is shoving into us as well. So it has He has four minions on his side. We only have three. So even if he last hits it or pushes regardless, it's going to shove out to us. All right, so we're just going to walk. Let, basically, I'm just going to let this wave shove into me. There's really no reason to uh, push him in because he has so many minions right here. Like, I won't win any trades, right? Because the minion damage from the wave is just going to kind of wreck us if we look for a fight onto him. And the more this wave is shoving into us, the more he's overextended. So that's kind of what we're looking for here. To force him to be overextended and then just look for ganks. I can ping that he's Mia here because he may be looking bot lane. Since my bot is kind of getting aggressive, it looks like. I don't know what he would recall for, but I'm going to shove him in here. Okay, there he is. I'm just going to trade with him here. Because I think we have a lot more sustain than him, even with his fleet footwork. 
And he's in kill range here too. Hit him with a nice Q auto W. I wanted to look for the E just in case if he went back into us there. We could have looked for a, a really good trade onto him there. Look for a fish onto him here. Max range. Ooh. If I was a little faster with that, we definitely would have killed him there. Alright, so he, there's his barrier. I'll just hop out here. They should not be able to get me. I gotta flash that because if he gets one more thing on me, he gets his phase rush and he'll be able to run me down. But we got his barrier. If he didn't barrier, have his barrier, we would have killed him for sure. Lee Sin could get this, potentially. That's alright. I might be able to shove him out of the wave right here. I just was a little impatient with my ult because he knocked me up and I really wanted to get my ult onto him. If I would have hit that ult, he definitely would have died. That's all good. If he backs right here, that's going to be really bad for him. I might just be able to burst this guy down. Eh, he just got that. My only problem right here is I don't know if I have enough mana to actually get him, hit him with a full combo. So what I might actually just look to do is shove this wave and then reset myself. Because it would be very, very like greedy and sketchy to try and kill him there. So we'll just reset. We're ahead of him anyways. If I had a little bit more mana, I would definitely look to fight him. But that's all good. We'll go back, grab that, and some boots. A control ward as well, and we should be really good into the lane here. He has no barrier, so if we do land a fish on him at this point, we should just be able to kill him. Um, That's a little sketchy because Graves is right here. All right, so we're pretty even. I should get here for this cannon. Yep. So we're going to actually be pretty far ahead of him here. Because we'll collect this wave. He should miss a lot of this wave that's crashed right here. And we'll be a little ahead of him. I honestly might just have bot here. I think that's the play. Yeah, I'm going to come here. This is a double. Throw my control ward down right here. Nice. If they're still there. I'm just going to ignite this guy. Oh, good, good, um, blast comb by him. That hits. Kills. Very, very well played by the team. I'm coming down for this. Triple kill by the Ash. You love to see it. This guy can't. He doesn't have, like, a dash or anything, so he can't follow me. He can do that, though. To be fair, my team saw that he was there, so... Not sure how they uh, didn't just back off there, but that's fine. Should be able to clear this wave pretty fast here. And Ash just got a triple, so I'm sure she's not super upset about it. All right, Lisa in grabbing the Herald. That's really good for us. I'm going to get a reset in here because I did pick up an assist there and a bunch of... Uh... Let's grab that. And actually, I grabbed a bunch of uh, CS as well. So I can almost get my Protobell here. So let's grab this. And then we should head back out here. He might get some plates. If he chooses to. But I think that they're going to be going for this. Yeah, they picked up the Ocean Drag. Kind of to be expected. But we're looking pretty good as a team overall. And we have a pretty scaly team comp too. Ash and uh, the Nasus. And it looks like our bot lane's doing really well. I'm not going to let this guy just back here for free. See if Lee Sin wants to come for this guy. I got Grave Shadow on me, though, so I can't look for too hard of an engage. I actually might just come through here. Try to, like, counter gank this. Or just position myself here, you know I mean? Because it looks like my team's making a big play down here, bot lane. Nice. All right, so it's just good for me to be there. And then I'm going to come push this mid lane in. I was about to say, even if Yone... Okay, I was about to say, uh, I thought my team was winning so hard that even if Yone showed up, they would be fine. But that's all good. He did get a shutdown, but he's going to miss a lot here, and we should get a plate. 
Honestly, he might get baited to staying down there. Look for a fish onto him here. He's got his barrier, so I can't really do too much here. How does he have his ult up, actually? That's kind of crazy here. Just not to try to get hit by that Q. It's kind of crazy that he had his ult up again. But I'm pretty sure we shove him out of lane with that. And if he's here fighting me, he's not down bot lane stopping that push. My bot laner just got two kills, so that's really good. If I had Ignite there, we would have killed him. I should have, like, looking back on it now, how close my Ignite was to being up, I should have just waited. And I could have killed him with the Ignite. And it looks like my team is literally just hard smashing down there. So the longer I keep Yone in mid lane, the better. And we actually got two plays from this little push, which is very solid. So I'm actually going to reset right here. I'm going to throw my ward down right there. And then look for a back here myself. Nass, this is 1v1 in the jacks. That's real good. All right, so Yone's got no barrier. He is pretty strong, but that's fine. Got our proto belt. I'm going to go Zanya second, just because they have the Yone, the Graves, the Caitlyn. They just have so many AD like champs. Karma's the only AP champ, but she's 0 and 4. And she's building, like, the um, Athenas, Athens, or whatever. The Chalice, or whatever. So it's really not that much damage. Okay, yeah. My bot lane's pinging me right there, because they basically want me to go bot lane while they go mid. I'm with this. Oh my goodness, this Ash is insane. This Ash, like, her arrows are actually insane. That was a really, really good arrow by her. All right, very, very nice. Yone's kind of stuck in mid lane, splitting XP with his um his bot lane. So this is going to help me get even further ahead of him too. So I'm down here getting solo XP. I'm getting solo gold. It's just honestly just really, really good for me if my bot lane doesn't die mid lane. Which they're doing really well this game, so I don't think that they will. I would like to put a ward around here, but I don't have any wards, so that's not going to be a thing. Just going to proto belt into this right here. Try and get some AoE wave clear. Um, I think I can kill this guy here. I'm just going to ignite him. Flash it, or hit him with uh, the fish. I thought at least him was going to come over here, but I guess not. I'm not going to go for it. Look at the bait, boys. Look at the bait. He dies from that, I think. There it is. So I eat forward. I didn't really ever have it because I, what I was looking for was a flash E onto him right there while he chilled. But once I saw that my E really wasn't going to land, I just decided to E backwards. So let's put that on that key. Might be able to bait this guy. Yeah, he's close here. Really, really nice play by the Lee Sin, too. Sweet. So we're doing pretty good. Actually, they're killing all them mid lane. I can just afford to stay here. Yone's not up for two more seconds. So I can just soak up this wave as well. Get a bunch of XP. Get some little bit of extra gold. And it looks like Nasus is scaling up super hard up there, too. All right. So let's get a reset in. They might. This is kind of a bad situation here. Because Yone could fight them both, I think. I don't know how. Like, his ult must be on a very short cooldown, though. All right, let's grab that. We'll grab tier two boots. And we're looking super, super good right now. In a very good uh, position. All right, let's throw that control ward over there. And we'll just keep splitting bot. 92 to 110. So we got a little bit more um, CS than him. He does have two kills, but so do we. And we have three assists on our, uh, to our name as well. So looking pretty good. And our Nasus is scaling up really hard. He might be in some trouble there, though. Because he has no mana. If he had mana, he could probably outplay that. Because he's pretty stacked up. Alright, at least Jax got that and not Yone. So that's good for us. Just going to proto belt this. Get some uh, AoE wave clear going down here. Level 11. Starting to set ourselves apart from uh, Yone here. I might be able to get this. We have a cannon minion here. This is going to be close. If I had... If I would have went Sheen second item... No, we'll get this. We'll get this. But if I had Sheen, it would have been much easier for me to do that. 
little risky for me to use my E like that because, okay, I was about to say, because I didn't know where Yone was or the rest of their team, their graves, but I'm trying to get these minions. All right, I'm going to probably wrap around onto Yone, maybe. Without Ignite, there's definitely no chance of me killing him because he took the barrier. Which is a bit, honestly just a, that's super weird in general. Um, I don't think we can catch him. I'll just go ahead and farm this wave up. Let's see, let's come make sure we grab this. Let him stack it. Lee Sin grabbing the old second Rift Herald, which is really good for us. We're getting pretty much every objective. We lost the first. I'm going to throw my control word right there. But we lost the first um, the first dragon, but that's fine. Because it looks like we have all the pressure, the, I mean, everywhere else. While my team's pushing mid, I'm just going to push this right here. So I think they're strong enough to be able to fight without me. And like I said, I'm getting solo XP. And I, can, I also have the threat to be able to push these towers as well. Because he's level 11. We're close to being level 11 ourselves. I don't want to all-in him here. Just because I know he's got the barrier. So I'll just save my uh, save my stuff. But I can just constantly keep him over here. Just going to pop a pop for some mana sustain. And then I want to just try and gather this wave up. And then take it all out with my E here. And if he doesn't respond to me or someone doesn't, we'll take this tower here for sure. It's all about just pulling the enemy to, I mean, to all sides beating him by the macro right now he's over here messing with me when my team's literally taking everything out kind of just waiting to see if my team's gonna hard commit onto him so i can hit him with a fish but it looks like they don't even like it's like we're doing just a-okay here if he comes back to this i'll just kill him here hit him with the ignite <laughs> nice all right not too bad boys nice little first game back for uh in a while I know we haven't posted a whole bunch. Been dealing with some stuff IRL, but we are back now. Just gonna go ahead and finish this. There it is, boys. Fizz mid versus Yone. We'll take it after action after this. All right, boys. This is the after action for the game we just played against that Yone mid. So starting from my top laner, my top laner was sitting at platinum three. We had a gold one in the jungle. I'm sitting at gold two myself, sitting at about 44 LP. Um, going to try and get some ranked games in after this as well cuz I def like I have been slipping up as much I haven't been putting out as much content like I said I've been um having a couple things in my uh, uh in real life you know what I mean that I've been allotting some time to um as well as I just been working a bunch we like last weekend for Labor Day I was off for the late the actual holiday but then the way my company works is that we have to make that day back up on a Saturday so last weekend I worked Saturday and then Sunday I just kind of took time to like chill myself, you know I mean, and kind of get as much time as I I wasn't ha used to having on the weekends. But um, it's Sunday today, this weekend. Going to try and grind out a couple games for you guys, two or three games if possible. And if we start doing better, honestly, if we win three games in a row, which is kind of a stretch, but it, it's been done before. If we win three games in a row, we can get to gold one. And then the season is coming to a little bit of an end, so I need to – I really want to start pounding out some more games for you guys and because uh, diamond is obviously the goal. Um, it'd be very, very nice to be able to get that. I've never, uh, been that high elo before, so it'd be cool to do that. Um, become a diamond tier with mainly fizz, you mean, and we're doing pretty good. We just need to get the games out. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes guys. Our ADC was diamond two or diamond three rather. And we had a platinum two support and overall, like the game went really well. We had that very early, nice juicy gang from Lee Sin that just kind of set the lane up for us really well. Um, got the first blood, our bot lane then double killed their you know, I mean their bot lane right after we got the first kill in mid and then unfortunately they did end up getting double killed by graves but they graves also died in the gank as well um and now our bot lane just kind of hard smashed their bot lane 2v2 uh drew a lot of attention from graves which is nice because that keeps them off of us and then yeah it was just a, it was a really really well played game by everyone on my team even nasus like he just sat up there stacked up 9k damage you mean with only 2kp that's pretty impressive he was basically just you mean uncontested in terms of like stacking and i guess he was fighting jacks pretty often and i i'm not sure if he drew up graves one up there or not but yeah it was a really really good game um we got, found a couple good roam opportunities went and got that graves ash with the american sniper she hit that that one arrow on graves like because he was definitely going to get away from me i wouldn't have been able to secure that kill um 
she secured that kill and then Caitlyn as well was about to get away during that one little catch where uh, Zyra ended up catching her and doing most of the damage to her. I was very close to like just flash queuing her, but I didn't even need to because Ash hit like such another clutch arrow. Two very, very insane arrows. Um, so that was really good. But yeah, it was a very good game for my team. Everyone played really well. No complaints at all. Uh, starting from the enemy top, they had a level 20 in the top lane. They had a diamond four jungler. Level 294, and this guy sits at about uh, silver and gold tier, so about a silver and gold tier player. Kind of is probably the reason why he went to barrier. The only reason, other reason I can think of the barriers, he was just very afraid of the Lee Sin and Fizz combo, you know what I mean, coming in. So he figured maybe if he has barrier, he can heal up as he since he has fleet footwork. Pop the barrier and can just kind of sustain through the damage and maybe like actually make the big outplay. Um, level 31 ADC and a Diamond 4 support. So a couple diamonds on... Uh, on the teams, you I mean these guys had two diamond tier players. We had an A diamond tier player, and uh, yeah, the Elo was pretty even. Very good game. Um, the Yone did pretty well for himself, even despite like his team being super far behind. Uh, the matchup not too bad for Fizz. Like I said, he doesn't have a win wall, so he is difficult in a sense that like I think he's a little bit better of a team fighter than Yasuo because he can just kind of make more things happen. He has a shield. You know I mean he can, the more people he hits with his W, which was that like where he drags his sword across in a cone. Um, he can get a big fat shield. He has multiple ways to, you know I mean, he can knock up a whole enemy team comp and then, you know, I mean, dash back through them, do damage. It's just a lot better of a, but I think, um, without the wind wall, he's definitely a better matchup for Fizz, uh, than Yasuo because he can't stop our ult as long as we hit it. That is, but yeah, overall it's a really good game. Um, uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, if you haven't yet sub to the channel, it really does help. And we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comment section below. All right. Hope to see you guys on the next video.